Well, hello there, it's me and Robson. Um, this one's sort of two parts, but it'll be self-contained. Uh, it's going to show you how to do a, uh, generate a point cloud from um, a point position pass and a normal pass. Now, it's going to be useful because we're going to cover uh, in the next video about relighting, um, not using light select passes, which like we've already covered in one of the early videos, but properly, proper relighting in Nuke, okay? So, yeah, we've got a... 3d point cloud there of this geezer that which i did a long time ago it was going to be charon the boatman um you know now that's the basic render now i'm going to show you how i've got this thing set up here um i've got it so i have a point pass a normal pass i've also got a z depth um about a reflection there's no refraction on it a diffuse filter in case i need it uh and that's about it right so let me just bring up um right here now the render elements um you'll see i've got point and normals in capital letters because i'm as blind as a bat uh how you create these in v-ray is you simply go around go to assembler info right now you see here it says point that's already done for you right so you could go score instead of point we'll have pointy right then you create another one v-ray assembler info change this one to normal vector and then you can go normy. Oh, it's decided it's going. It's bloody safe. Awesome. Which is especially awesome when it's a heavy mesh like this. Um, yeah, so we're just waiting now for Max to come back. Dear God, I really hate stuff like this. This is what makes me shout and scream at my computer um, when it does things like this. So you've got that there, right? Make sure your elements are active. Um, there's a, originally this scene was uh, with Mental Ray um, many moons ago. So I don't need that. I've basically set up my Z depth here. There's two cameras. There's this one and there is this one, right? So well, quick look at them. You hit render, away you jolly well go, okay? Right, we're going to go back into Nuke now. Right, we're in Nuke. There's absolutely nothing to see here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is hit S, change the full size format to HD 1080, 1920 by 1080. Um, this bit talk doesn't matter with frame range because we're not doing anything clever with it. Now I'm going to bring in both shots um, and we'll do like this. Okay, this is really easy. Um, in fact, in a way, I feel a bit of a swizz by having to show you how to do this. It's, it's really sort of so easy. The main thing you want to do is uh, you need a position to points. All right? You connect that to the image. Now in here, where it says service point, we have the one that will point. All right? Service normal is the normals. So if I just quickly view the main image, we have under normals, that's the world space normal, and we have the point pass as well. Okay, So that's basically what's happening there. Now, as well as that, I can just quickly view this, and you can see in here, there he is. Now, I'm going to also just do a transform geo on this, um, and I know from the other scene that it's minus 90 in the X rotation, and 90 in the Y rotation. So if I see it on there, and we look at it through here. Right, there we go. So we've got something that's quite nice now, okay? And we know where we're at. Now let me explain about uh, the points to position. It's using your, your points position pass and the normal pass, right? Now if I go to this, it's you've got point detail and point size. So if I take a point size right way down, right? And the detail, the further down I go, the less points he is, right? So I'd have, but if it was a really heavy scene, I just wanted to have a basic idea of where it was at, I'd have fewer, and eventually you can take it all the way up to one, right? So you've got that there, and the point size, you know, if I have fewer points like this, I can make them bigger, so there's less intensive on, on the memory if we were working with something, uh, but for this, we want it just like that, okay. Now, 
that's basically how to get that there. Now, what use is it? Um, I'm going to show you, this is not proper relighting that I'm going to do here. Uh, what this is, is just a way of showing you uh, some things that are possible. So connect that with scene. Uh, we need a camera like that. Now, this camera, I'm going to have to take and I'm going to move it out. I'm going to have to rotate the shit out of it, try and get something that's approaching um, the right position just for this. Maybe about there, we'll see what it's like. Right, we're also going to need scanline render. We'll stick that down here. Yeah, scene gets to the scene, the camera goes to the camera. We view that under there. And then we should be able to go from our 3D into a 2D view. It'll do some stuff. It's there, it can't see anything. Uh, what we do need though is a light. So let's take a light. Let's connect that onto here. See whereabouts our light is in the scene. And this is where you, you'll see um, how useful it is. All right. Now if I just zoom in here. We have excellent feedback on these points. Right. Where have we... If we're going to relight stuff and say we were going to add some sort of a rim light, we could try whacking it back here and make sure our position is, is just right. So say we want the rim light on the side of his face. Um, then you know where you're at and you can see what's what's happening basically. So that's how you're basically doing stuff like that. Right? Now I love it when the viewers suddenly decide to got nine versions of bloody thing. So that's basically what we're doing. Now the version I've got over here is exactly the same, right? This is the same version. We can put it in like that. We've got our light there. We can change this one over for the full shot, which will now redo the full shot. So if we look in the 3D view, we have the full geezer. So I can pull the camera back a bit. Um, if we try to get it about like that, uh, I'm trying to not clip it too much. And there you go. See? So you could do all sorts with it. We need to bring him down a bit. You know, it's it's getting a bit daft that. So but yeah, that's basically how to create the points from uh your work position pass, and that is now doing my nutting because it's not going where I need it to. Right, let's get you further back and put you up a bit. If you line up like that, it should work fine. If it doesn't, I want to shout at it and hit it. There we go. It's nearly there. So anyway. Uh, the next one, I want to show you proper relighting um, and how to use, again, your world uh, space normals and your point position paths to do like relighting, okay? So that's the next video. So now you'll be able to understand why we've got this, because it allows you to uh, position your lights correctly. Right, see you next time.